Hello everybody and welcome to a reaction video of Little Nightmares 2, the trailer. Now I have just came back from uh, Gamescom and when I got there, this was announced. The, the new game was announced. I didn't know that Tarsia Studios or even uh, they would be there at all. Little Nightmares 2 was going to be a thing. So I was actually really fortunate that when I got there, there was this huge booth that was there as well. And I'll, I'll put up footage and everything. And we're going to dissect this because not only do we have the trailer to react to, but there's also um, an interview with the lead writer and creator of Little Nightmares, who I met back in the day at EGX before I knew that uh, Little Nightmares was going to be a thing I was going to cover on my channel. So, without further ado, are you ready? Let's, uh, let's, I've never watched this before. I've deliberately ha hold, like held off on this, so. Is that, who's that washed up? Was that, is that the runaway? That looks like the runaway kid. It's somebody else. TVs again. This is the new area. This is the hunter's shack. Oh, oh, villagers. Oh, is that six before she becomes six? Other children without masks? This must be the hunter. A teacher? We're in some sort of city? Hands? Oh, wow. Oh! And there it is. Ooh. Oh! Instead of six, in the, um, in the, in like the, the frame of the eye, now we've got this new character. Now the new character is actually called Mono. Uh, so it's coming out 2020, so not too long away, and it's coming out for all platforms, PC, Switch, Xbox, and PS4. So Switch was the latest thing it came out for, actually, well, the original. Oh, man. So we've got this new area, we've got a new character. We Looks like we might have six before she even comes six, so this could be a prequel. We're seeing this brainwashing effect of the TVs, and we had this in the app game, actually, where you had these TVs and all these dolls, or what were once children, looking at the TV. And But this this is like the first time we're seeing adults. Adults that aren't... I don't know. I, like, they're not like the guests from the mall. Oh, can I watch it again? Can I, okay, can we watch it again? Is it okay to watch it again? Go, let's watch it again. One more time, one more time before we move on to other things. So we're on, we're on a shore there. And that, this might be six. This might be six before she puts on, she dawns the yellow raincoat. And then there's Mono, this new character. Teddy bears some writing. TV's just out in the, the wilderness. And this is the hunter shack. So is this, this character might chase down and hunt children and then take them to a boarding school to be indoctrinated. And there's the black tower. More humans, adults. We've got physical fighting in this, which is amazing from Mono, this other character. And then Mono in front of the TV. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh man, there's just so much. Obviously I'm not gonna dive into, you know, when I come up with my theory videos, it's always, day like, like I just think about it a lot. Whereas now, you're not going to get a, right, this is, who is Mono? <laughs> like, straight away. Um, I like to sit on these things and ponder them a little bit. So, before I wrap up thoughts, we're, we're actually going to go onto uh, Twitter, onto Little Nightmares 2 page. Now, this is um, senior narrative designer for Little Nightmares 2, Dave Marvick. Now, this is the guy I actually spoke to before I knew that this, you know, this franchise was going to be such a big thing on my channel. Um, and I didn't even know I was talking to like the creator um, because some people at the booth said, oh, th you want to talk to this guy? This guy's the one who made it before Bandai, uh, they, th these guys approached Bandai to help fund it, uh, produce it. So th this guy knows, this guy knows a lot. I mean, a lot, he, like it's, it's, it's his brainchild. Well, this is the law and landing of the Oddworld series almost. So here we go. This is a games call. I didn't, unfortunately I didn't get to talk to anybody. There's nobody at the booth. Well, uh, you may have seen from the trailer that you can now actually wield items, so you can uh, crack someone over the head with a, a ladle, if you like. Um, that, that's interesting. Among many other kitchen utensils. 
um, and also we're, we, we've made the environment itself uh, a lot more interactable as well, so there'll be a lot more to, to explore and enjoy in Little Nightmares. Enjoy. <laughs> Will we see any other recurring characters? I'm not sure if you're going to meet the gnomes again. Um, they do exist uh, outside of the moor, so you may catch a glimpse of one of the gnomes. Otherwise, everything that you see will be brand new. Okay, okay. I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause up there, uh, or no, not. Let's keep going. This game really is about the world outside of the moor. So, uh, what you learn uh, during Little Nightmares 2 indirectly will uh, explain to you more about where the moor can come from and what kind of a world can create something so uh, terrible. Right, okay. Is Mono in any way associated with the Runaway Kid? I don't think you would want Mono to be associated with that kid from the DLC, really. Um, so there is officially three children in the Little Nightmares universe now. Mono is a completely new character. Oh good, so it's not the Runaway Kid or anything like that. The Signal Tower. You can indeed assume that the Signal Tower is linked to the DLC that you saw. Um, and also very much central to the story of the new game. The DLC? So you're talking about Little Nightmares? Like the, uh, I think the, the thing I'm most excited about with Little Nightmares 2 is finding brand new ways to not tell people anything about the story and the characters. <laughs> of course! Uh, it's so much more fun for us to find this out for themselves and to, and to create uh, millions more theory videos. That's the kind of thing that we enjoy the most. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're just addressing like, me uh, and everyone Little else. Nightmares oh, 2 great. is a single player game. You play as Mono. Um, the oh, you play actually Mono as Mono. And six is, is integral to the, to the narrative and the gameplay, but you do only play as Mono. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Mono is going to be the. So, we don't. That's not good. <laughs> I get a feeling that Mono is going to die then. Um. And it just ends there. So it, it it would appear that the gnomes are like officially only um, in the mall, which I guess would make sense. Um, and this is this is a little recap video. So we'll like uh, we're gonna look at this uh, of things that we've learned so far. So meet Mono, a new hero for little nightmares. This was the booth that I was at uh, two days ago. Ability: he can fight enemies, distract them, stun them, or even defeat them. Mono and Six explore complete new areas, trying to stop the signal tower. The new areas will reveal new enemies like the sadistic teacher and the relentless huntsman. The game continues its charming horror atmosphere and reveal more about the world and its inhabitants. Right, okay, okay. Oh, 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 what do we say? What, what, <laughs> what can you say? But, I mean, again, this is, this is Little Nightmares. They're, they're very deliberately not telling us anything, um, which I love. I love that about it. And they know, they know they're going to be watching this. Dave, can we have like a conversation? I would love to pick your brain. I picked your brain ages ago. You probably don't even remember me. <laughs> we got a new character. We've got a new environment. The signal tower he mentioned that is somehow linked to um, the DLC from the original Little Nightmares. So I don't know exactly what that entails. You've got this Hanging Man character. Um, I mean, if we can find, if I can find in the uh, in the actual trailer itself, specific uh, key points. Um, so it seems like you have six in the, in the wilderness or maybe caught by the Huntsman. Then Mono comes across six, where you've got this here, as you can see, this, um, this very sort of first interaction where, and you've also got this, this dialogue between traditional, I don't know, like the toy, this toy aspect, this toy box, and then the TV, which is, I, it could be a social commentary on, you know, like kids used to play with toys and now they're, they're getting their information from the box and the box tells them everything, the TV in this case, instead of, you know, finding out their own, their own language and stuff like that. Um, that could be a subplot. Um, the Signal Tower obviously has some sort of reason as to why it's, uh, you know, it's sending out these messages. There's a sadistic teacher. That's the actual name, sadistic teacher. Uh, I've seen people ask about the Hanging Man as well. Um, and he does seem to appear in the TV again. Um, it's possible if we find the teacher. So let's, so here we go. We have the teacher 
Doesn't look anything like the Hanging Man, just from the pants alone, um, and I think she's female, actually. If we, if we can get, there's a really good shot. So there you go, you have six taking off the, the clothes that, you know, at start, that we first see her in. And this is the interesting thing, if, if the app game is canon, this character came from the mansion, or the, the nest, sorry, and then maybe found her way, got caught by the huntsman, and the huntsman takes these kids to the city where they're indoctrinate, indoctrinated and, I know, maybe if, if they don't rebel or resist against this regime, then they become these adults that are twisted and what have you. But the ones that rebel stay a kid. Maybe we got a bit of a Peter Pan scenario going on where seeing as growing up is a bad thing. And, you know, I don't know, it's like conforming. There's nothing good about becoming an adult brainwashed by this, this, t these televisions or something. And maybe that's what happens to Mono at the end. Maybe Mono, uh, because he, he looks taller than six, older, possibly this, he's, he's approaching or she's approaching the very end of this, you know, border between a kid and an adult and they're about to change. And you see at the very end, if we go to the very end of this, this trailer, you see, um, uh, there it is. You see Mono, what appears to be Mono, staring at the TV with a floating six right there. I didn't even notice that she could fly. Um, staring at the TV. Um, and do we, we don't really see too much. But it looks like the sparks start flying out the TV. It gets more intense. We see six almost covering her face up before it happens. Um, maybe... I get the feeling Mona's not going to survive at the end. It's either, she, it, this character is either going to, con, go there, going to combine with Six, as we've seen. Maybe this is how she gets her powers from Mono. Um, well, I mean, we know she gets the powers from uh, the lady, but the insatiable hunger, will it be present here? And how did that come about? Questions that need to be answered. I'm, I'm thinking very carefully about my words here in case I'm right, because I, I, I said I, I was right about the runaway kid and how he died and turned into a gnome. And it seems like we won't see gnomes here because the lady is not here and she's the creator of the gnomes, which she does to kids who are disobedient and can't, you know, with this uh, regime, they don't, they rebel basically. What if Mono is the hanging man? Maybe this is the moment where they become big. I and mean, we, we, We've tried... We've, we wanted theories as to who is the Hanging Man. We thought it was the guy in the mirror, which it could very be possible with the book, the narrative series um, that we saw there. But maybe Mono actually somehow retains part of who they are and remembering what they're becoming and ends up killing themselves. And doesn't like, you know, I don't know, something like that could... This is it. This is. I mean, this is what they like, right? They're just sat around a TV. They're sat around me being projected on on a TV in front of the office, going, "Ah, look at him squeal." <laughs> I mean, squirm for theories. I mean, here we go. Here we go. So we see limbs. We've got this character that is missing a hand and missing a head, yet is still alive. So, and here we have another bit with loads of limbs, hands, and this hand seems to be still alive. And it, it looks like Mono has a, a pipe, so not that you're going to have other kitchen utensils, you could probably pick up anything, and which is great, because we had that with Six with picking up stuff, but Mono is able to whack things, which is very, very good. Was it Dave? Was that his name? So sorry. Uh, mentioned about a lot of things we're going to see here is going to explain things that we see in Little Nightmares, maybe indirectly, he said. So... This, these body, these limbs, the inanimate objects that we're seeing here that are harvested from these people, these humans, these adults, maybe these brainwashed kids. We See, we've got this incredibly creepy teacher, um, but very similar in looks to um, the Hanging Man. This could be that character. I would not be surprised. So the Moor possibly had a teaching institution and she ended up being killed by Mono and this story might lead up to the Moor. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, we're seeing a new place, but it would not surprise me if we had a teacher character like this, a sadistic teacher in the Moor. And that's what the hanging person was in the, in the prison sort of jail cell area, which would have, I mean, we saw a playroom, we didn't really see teaching utensils or anything like that. And if, and we got the huntsman, he's, he's his own entity. He's probably a child catcher, I would say. We're, we're all of a twisting this. Um, so that is, that alone, that, that image is absolutely terrifying. Uh, I mean, 
It's gorgeous. This 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 area, this universe is filled with mystery and intrigue and show don't tell. That and that's what a good story story maker does. So here we go. This beautiful shot of um you know, already, I mean, if you don't know anything about this, this shot establishes that this character is higher above all the other ones, all these other children, they're learning. We've got the, the main characters not in seats, not learning. Um, and it, I mean, it, it's very clear she's staring at them and whether they just came across, they opened the door, fell down, or so, this maybe not even in the game. And these seem to be the children that you see Mono whacking uh, early on when we can see that he fights. So this is six. And we've got this, maybe she's teleported through the TV, I don't know, maybe you can actually teleport through TVs, it's a, it's a vision a bit like the eyes. Um, and we've got a door, and this huge complex, this asylum almost. Um, and you've got Mono, who's who probably finds six at the hunter's shack. Uh, he's doing something here, and it looks like pigs, or something, carving the pigs up. Hopefully it is just pigs. And this is the tower. This here. Beautiful. You can just see this being concept art. And it's just become, you know, uh, the, in the actual game. And you've got storm clouds circling it just to really draw the eye and the attention as well as the light to it. So maybe we've got to try and turn that signal off. And here we have a street view of adults. I mean, these aren't... You know, the, the, the grotesque creatures, beings that we've seen in the first Little Nightmares universe, the guests. These are regular people being brainwashed. For what purpose, I've, I still don't know, apart from harvesting them for limbs. And you see, here we have the kids. This is obviously a kitchen area uh, where this mono character picks up a ladle. And now this is the interesting thing. You see, I mean, I, I, I probably can play back speed. There, you have- oh, well, I mean, you've got the audio anyway, but we need it- we need it a lot, so can we go frame by frame? No, we can just skip ten minutes. I'm sure there's a way to go frame by frame. Anyway, you have, uh, Mono smacking this child. I mean, you can tell it's very posed. But then their head cracks open. So, these children, that's not their- that's not their heads. Again, we've got this thing about masks. Um, maybe the children have to put on these masks and... I don't know. I don't know. You, you've got the chefs wearing masks. The lady wore a mask. You, you've you've got this and mono covering their face up. Um, there's something about the hidden aspect of this, um, hiding oneself. So I mean, and we don't. I mean, we don't really see much when this child uh, deliberately is a lot of motion blur there uh, gets the the head cracked open, almost. Maybe once this person does that. Uh, mono, then they they stop being brainwashed, or maybe they die. I don't know. I'm assuming that these these are the same kids, and you've got you've got a mono there hiding from the huntsman there as he's trying to track them down. I mean, you can see a character in that TV. Oh, it's a woman. Hold on. Who's this? We've just found something, guys. That doesn't that doesn't look like anything I've seen before. A hair, it looks like a hair, a hair, I don't, I don't know, that's not the lady, the lady doesn't look like that, it looks feminine, so maybe this is the character, this is, this may be the main antagonist, and it would be perfect if it was at the end of this trailer for it was to be teased, and especially the end of Little Nightmares on the DLC, the granny, I think it was, uh, we saw another character in the TV and we thought that was a hanging man. I think we could safely say the hanging man or something could have been a teacher, sadistic teacher, but now the person in the TV is probably whoever is the top of the signal tower or the black tower, whatever it was called. Hopefully before we go, yes, I, uh, I actually managed to, you know, see little nightmares there and I'll put up uh, clips behind me. I wanted to really observe the relationship between Mono, which I didn't even know the name at the time, that character, and Six. Because we've seen Six before, we know how she acts, but we don't know how Mono acts. And as it would appear, you've got this Huntsman character, you've got a light following around the floor, which is obviously him, supposed to be him. Um, and it's, it seems like Mono is taking on a teacher responsibility, sort of hiding Six, um, showing her where to go. There was two people I saw staying around this booth, and I kind of knew just by looking at them they weren't 
like Tarsia staff, or if they were, they, they weren't Tarsia, they're probably Bandai. I did ask, I said, do you, so, is there any secrets I can learn? He said, oh, I, I have nothing to do with the game, I'm just, you know, I'm told to just watch it, so. I, I, there was nothing I could do there. It, it's a shame, because they were there. Dave, um, and some other Tarsia Studio staff were there. And I, I, you know, the thing is, I tweeted at Tarsia Studios, I, I said, look, on the, on the first day, the Tuesday when I was there, when it's just media, media and press, I said, you know, oh, look who I found at uh, Gamescom, is there anything I could find out at Tarsia Studios, any secrets? Uh, but they never got back in touch, so. <laughs> Deliberate, deliberately, right? But that's fine. That's completely fine. I like, I like this mystery, and they know that if they do tell me too much, it'll spoil the fun. So I, I do get the, the relationship that they are trying to keep the mystery there. But I found this. I got given this because when they were taking a picture on the second day, the Wednesday, um, this person pulled out the bag and then gave the woman who was taking a picture with the characters this. Zoomed in there. There we go. So Little Nightmares Two, and in here is the new character, Mono. Uh, now, I'm expecting, I mean, there's no way for me really to show it that great, because, but it's so in detailed. Like, I don't know how close we can get this. There, we can get it, we can get it pretty close. Um, but you've got the feet, which have been, you know, dry brushed to give the dirt look. But look at that, it's such good quality on there. And it's a little key ring. I'm expecting this to be part of the deluxe edition. I can't imagine they made these just to give out at Gamescom. So, do expect- I, I kind of really don't want to open it! Look at it! Look how cool that is! Like, it, a little pl- It just shows how much of a fan I am, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a plastic bag that says Little Nightmares. Um, not suitable for children under 36 months. Apparently, is that is that is that true? Little, uh, little nightmares, Tossy Studios. I wouldn't be surprised. This looks a very similar to the uh, six that we got with the, the deluxe edition of Little Nightmares, um, although it is a lot smaller. So maybe we'll get a a, a bigger version. Uh, let me know what your theories are um, on this. If I've if you think I've hit, I'm hitting the nails on the head. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, or if there's something else that I'm, I'm possibly missing. I would love to hear what, what you guys have to say on this. And maybe we'll make a theory video just based on this. I mean, every day so far, we are getting new details. So, there, there could definitely be something that drops within the next couple of days, um, or weeks or what have you that will really, uh, give away. Uh, everything. I mean, I could make short videos. I could make short theory videos on who this character is and what have you. Maybe if you guys want to see that, I could, I could, I could easily do that. Um, I think I pretty much explained everything in this video, so. Half an hour worth. If you're really heavily into Little Nightmares, hopefully this video is really, you know, shone some light on a very, very dark world. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.